Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have traveled to Munich because as part of the 50 year celebration of M, BMW have some very special cars at BMW Welt and also the BMW Museum. So let's go inside and check them out. So one of the main reasons we've come into Well is, well, number one, I've never been here before, surprisingly enough. Uh, number two, it's because the M4 CSL is here and it's the first time I've seen this in person. This is a car that we do want to add to our fleet. We have asked for an allocation, but no one's heard anything back yet about who's getting them. There's only 100 coming to UK. I'm not sure what the selection process is, but I would like to be able to have one as part of mine and Bilal's fleet. So first impressions, I really love the frozen Brooklyn Grey. I've already got used to the overall look of the M4 because we've had a G80 M3 and we currently have a G82 M4. So I'm not gonna look at the overall design of the car, but on the CSL, it is a very, very aggressive version of the M4 and I think it works really well. The changes on the grille really do set that apart and it looks more like the GT3 race car, which is a good thing. Again, the front lip, super aggressive. I'm not a huge fan of the little kicks they have on the side, but that seems to be the modern day way of designing splitters. The color works really well, especially with the contrast of the carbon fiber and the red accents. I'm not a huge fan of the red accents, but I'm not sure what you could actually do with those in the future. But overall, the car looks pretty good. The wheels are really nice, so they are very reminiscent of the some of the standard ones you can get but just a slight update on the design a bit more blocky uh, coming over to the back of the car for me that's probably my favorite part uh, the m3 csl one of the best design features of it is the ducktail and i'm happy they've carried that over and they've executed it very well I'm not going to go too much into the overall design of this car because so many people have done it. I am more interested in seeing what this drives like because the M4 in its normal guise is an absolutely amazing car to drive and I'm hoping that the CSL treatment just gives it that extra push but I mean overall I really like it. Oh sorry I forgot to mention one of the main things on the back which is those laser wire lights. Um, I've walked around the car and didn't really pay much attention to them, but now I'm looking at them in more detail. They are absolutely stunning. I thought that OLEDs were really good, but these really take it up a notch. Got the carbon fiber diffuser on the back and the exhaust is slightly more aggressive. But yeah, as I said, it's an M4. It's on steroids a little bit. It works really well, but I'm really interested to see how this car drives. Oh, but I can't forget to mention this car over here. So that is the Drift Brothers M4, which uh, BMW gave them two M4s to modify for drifting. And that is absolutely nuts. So I remember seeing the design concept for it. I thought they're not gonna make that. And they did look, it's just crazy with the exhaust coming out of the back. It's so wide, it's unbelievable, but it's really cool seeing that in person. And the other thing they've got on the 50 year stand is a mint green M4, which uh, same color as our one, but that one is fully decked out with M performance parts and it looks really good. I'm still not sure about that M performance exhaust. It kind of pinches the car to the center, but you can't say it doesn't look aggressive. So we've just come into the museum and this is actually the end of the exhibit, but Bilal was very excited and he called me over and we both looked at this from up there and uh, we were a bit um, taken distracted. back, distracted. Uh, the guy let us in the wrong way to have a look at it. Um, I remember seeing this when it first came out and in pictures it was absolutely stunning but guys in person this thing is absolutely immense now Bilal doesn't get excited about too many things apart <laughs> from pizza and sushi in Japan but he was just staring at this thing saying what was the words take take all my money where's my card 
Um, it's Visa, a shame. <laughs> American Express. Amex. <laughs> Amex. So it's a shame. I don't think if the CSL homage we've been talking about comes out, if it looks like this, I'll be absolutely astonished. I don't think this I will don't. pass road safety regulations, but if it looks something like this, it's going to be absolutely insane. If this came out, honestly, this is worth 750,000 euros just all make day one. long. Just make one. <laughs> it's, why don't you just make one? It's beautiful. So BMW, why don't you just make one? Make one, just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. It's got like every angle is just amazing. You can see the reflection back to the E9 CSL with the roof spoiler, the rear spoiler integrated into the body, the wide arches, honestly, it's just, it's just absolutely stunning. And one thing I kind of got the sense from pictures, but it was harder to see until we saw it in real life with the wheels. Um, Bill didn't actually pick it up that they're actually a reworking of the E39 M5 wheels uh, that come with the car. And it's a modern day version of that. Um, and I know there's two very special cars on either side, which I've forgotten about. So you've got the M homage from 2008 over there, which is an absolutely fantastic car. And then you've got the more modern version of it, which is the M Vision Next, which again, I really like, but this is just something really special. Yeah, the more you look at it, the more angles you see, the more sculpture you see around the car. It's yeah. absolutely stunning. And we've been here for maybe 10, 15 minutes already looking at it before we've even filmed this clip and we're still taking it all in. Just the proportions of it. I mean, it is a long car, but it just looks proportionally yeah. so nice. Yeah, so whoever designed this car, they give should give you more cars, to, <laughs> more cars to design. <laughs> then the bonus. Oh my God, that is special. That is so good. You're probably going to use the word iconic a lot today, but that, that is iconic. <laughs> Not just the car, but the art car yeah. version of it. Oh my God. Boom. Guys, if you haven't been here before, it's well worth visiting right now because the cars they have in here are absolutely stunning. We haven't got there yet, but down there are cars that are usually in the vault, but I don't want to talk about them until we get down there. That is stunning. This is like, it's even... No, it's not the you same, might, man. You might but, get like a die-cast model of it. Yeah. Yeah, I doubt if they look like that, but it would have been cool to see inside and see what the collector looks like. It's a big old thing. Sorry? Imagine making an intake in that. Yeah. Oh, wicked. Anniversary edition. Yeah. So that is the P60, which was in M3 GTR. Look at the size of that. I'm confused about what's going in. Must be in there. Must be meth or something. Or water Could injection. Water yeah, injection. yeah. Interesting. That's definitely in there. Yeah. That's interesting. Would you reckon that is water cooling? That is the inlet panel. Could also be sensors. It's Haiti. Where they go? I'm trying to look. I can't see from here. No, it goes into that distribution block there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Plenum. Look at the each side. Oh, is that the full range of 70s? So what you got? Three, five, six, and seven. Okay. Yeah, boy.
remember some of these. I mean, look at that. That must take so much time. Mm. That's a lot. That's thick. Yeah. Thick layer of clay. Look down and you shall look see down. the Easter egg. <sighs> Go on, Matt. Just say. Oh. Look at that. You know, this was just called BMW Turbo. Brace yourself. I can't actually remember the last time I was in this much awe of anything. <laughs> Amazing. This is a motorsport inspired room. At the front you've got one of the more modern cars in the E92 M3 GTR. Got the E30 M3 over here, which I would have watched as a kid growing up watching DTM and BTCC. That is very special. There's something about this car. I don't know what it is. It's just so aggressive and just looks so cool the 320 group 5 car and then it just gets better because you've got an e9 race car over there the csl batmobile this i just love it there's some something about wide boxy arches and on a race car they're just you know over exaggerated so it just looks absolutely insane and then you've got the 2002 over there but uh, this whole museum has actually been mind-blowing I've probably said it in this video once before, but you really need to come here. If you're a fan of BMW, this place just will blow your mind. Can we build one, please? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Look how wide it is. That is so impressive. I want one of those, one of those, <laughs> one of those. I have one of those as well. Maybe we've got to start somewhere first, so I think we can build one of these. Just imagine going down Ilford High Street in this. From Ilford Lewin. <laughs> Do you know what's astounding to me about a place like this and what they have is like, I'm 45 years old, I'm being reduced to like a child. Look at, look at all these things. This is the same as like when you were like eight, nine years old and you go to like the National History Museum. Yeah, and you see like, dinosaurs. Wow. <laughs> this is a Karl Lagerfeld 7 series, so it's a stretched version of the normal 7. But what's really cool about it is the paint. So it's light and then it fades to dark and in person it looks really stunning. I said the last room is special, but so is this one. It just keeps getting more special. So we've got the original M535 over here, which was a precursor to M5, which is over there, the E28. And over here we have the most special E30 M3, which is the Sport Evolution. So I used to have a normal E30 M3 um, around 2003, and it was uh, red like this one. I'm not sure if this is, is this Hellrot as well? I don't know what red this is. I think it's Hellrot. It, lo it looks the same anyway. But yeah, this is the ultimate E30 M3. So they took the engine from 2.3 to 2.5. I think they made it a little bit more lightweight, different seats. But yeah, it's still... I grew up with these cars, so these are just stunning to me. There's no replacement for 80s box arch cars, I think, visually. Yeah, we'll go with the rally, red. I know a red one for sale, Bill. You just need to give me permission. Oh, yes, yeah, they haven't got an E36 GT in here for some reason. I don't know why, but that makes up for it. I'm a huge E92 M3 fan. I've owned loads of them, and we currently own two. 
the Japan Red and obviously the high mileage project we've got. And we've made the Japan Red car so good. I really need to try this out because I think it's going to be fantastic. I haven't actually driven one, but someone I know who owns one has kindly agreed to lend it to me to make a video. So I'm really looking forward to that because I really want to experience it and let you guys know what it's like. Come over here. We have a Z3M. Obviously we own a Z3M Coupe, which I think should have been here instead of the convertible, but that's what we have. Looks like Estrel Blue. Got the Daddy M car over here, which is the M1. And next to it, the pro car version of that. Again, I would have seen these racing around tracks when I was a little kid and seeing them in real life just, yeah, brings it all back. Very special. This is the penultimate room. As you go through, you can see it. You think that room's the best and then just the other one is just as good and just as good. This is second to last room and it's got some very special cars in it that are usually only in the vault, so not many people get to see them. So let's have a look. Got the E34 M5 Cabriolet over here, which works so well as a convertible. Straight lines, almost a wedge shape. Isn't it? Yeah, because I think the belt line, because it follows all the way through in a straight line, it just looks really good. They never built it, but that would have been a competitor to the Mercedes E-Class convertible at the time. Oh, the W. W, what is that one? W Which one? 12? What's, oh, the, Mercedes Matt, what's that Mercedes? Me. Easy. Uh, uh, w124, I think. I, I think it's W124. But yeah, that's just great. And it's got the sort of what, what we used to call the bubble motorsport interior, oh, yeah, yeah. like the e, E30325i. But yeah, that, that just looks right as a convertible. You know, some cars look a bit odd. The proportions are correct. This would have been M8, never came out. Um, it's a wide arch based on the 8 Series. It has a huge V12 in it, and it's got carbon plenums each side, uh, the vented bonnet. It just looks absolutely incredible. I would love to hear what this thing sounds like with the V12 noise coming out of the exhaust and those carbon plenums on each bank. It's just absolutely stunning. I love it. I think it needs an inventory housing on both sides. Then it's perfect. Do you reckon they'll let me borrow it for scanning? Right here. Right there. Nice little pod. That's what it needs. Get rid of that junk. Beautiful. 12. 12 cylinders. Look at the size of it. Over here, obviously we know the G81 Touring is coming very soon, which I believe we'll be buying. Um, this is an E46 M3 Touring, which never made the light of day. It looks absolutely right. You can see, you know, why people berate BMW for not making it, because it's just, it looks so right. just works. The, it, it looks like it belongs. The paint finish is very, very special on this as well. But it, it just like works a as a tour. Yeah, the paint's stunning. And you know, that's special. But over here, we've got something arguably more special. So this is the X5 Le Mans. The carbon plenum on this thing is just mind blowing. Mind blowing. Look at that. So, point. yeah, the V12, massive plenum feeding that engine, huge vented bonnet. BBS wheels, bucket seats. Oh, I've heard this on BMW Group Classics. If you haven't, follow those guys on YouTube because they pull some of these cars out every now and again and start them. And this car just sounds like a race car. It's absolutely insane. So this is essentially an X5M before they started doing an X5M. What, yeah. 749. 749. So yeah, for a big... <laughs> Big SUV, 749 Nürburgring, absolutely amazing. And over here we've got an innocuous looking Z3 in a peachy color, um, but it's got a huge V12 engine in it. Uh, so they even made it look like an M apart, you know, with the side girls a standard, but the bumpers and the bodywork looks like a Z3M Roadster. But yeah, V12 in, in a tiny little car like that. 
So that's the end of our tour of BMW well, and BMW Museum. I hope you guys have enjoyed the incredible content. Seriously, I've been blown away by the cars. I've seen these in pictures, seen them on video, but it doesn't do it justice until you see them in real life. It's really hard to pick a favorite, but I know what mine is because it's the one I looked at the longest. It's probably the one you looked at the longest. Well, the homage. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, the homage and then the, 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 the Group 5 car and then those old There's school. There's so many. It's just, it was amazing. But I will say, guys, if you have the chance to come out here, invest in the flight, maybe a hotel. You can do it in a day if you're coming from Europe. It is well worth the money. Absolutely mind-blowing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. If you want to join the conversation, please drop us a comment below and we will do our best to respond to you. And if you're running out of things to watch, why don't you watch one of these two?